<laughs> you explode. No, um, there are. T and this is about um, keeping current, keeping your, your you know registration with TQI, and that's their rule. So, yeah. um, oh, so is that just about TQI registration? You just need is this for casual teaching um, or the directorate? I don't know. I'm not. All I have heard that is yeah. Do, I think it's 180 <laughs> days in the first three years or something. Then you lose oh. your accreditation. Your registration. This is where you'll have to go back to, and this is not our um, area of expertise or knowledge base as well, but you have to go to TQI and your employer, um, your, whoever your employer is going to be or you want them to be. Um, I do know they have that it is, I don't know. So what do you I don't know if it's just a directorate, if it's the education directorate's thing. There are days that about being a casual relief teacher to keep your status, a registration as a casual relief teacher. keeping the registration. Yeah. Okay. That they want anyone it's who's registered yeah. exactly. So okay. they want anyone who's registered. Yeah, so they're getting regular work and, so yeah. So it doesn't actually have any impact, obviously, on the qualification and no. It's yeah. more that you will have to go back to the start of the registration process. Yeah. Um, so if you, sorry, if you yeah. get a job yeah. in defence or adult education yeah. or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Besides five years teaching, then your registration will expire. Okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. I can comment on that. Unless you... So, so you're now talking about, a, this is a TQI thing, this is not an employment yeah. thing, this is a TQI yeah. thing. Okay, right, so, right. so TQI requires you to be registered and as a condition of your registration is you have current work with vulnerable people stuff. Uh, so that's got to be kept current because mm -hmm. that was a big issue last year. Um, and then you've also got to do a mandatory 20 days of professional learning each, each yeah. year. Now that's prorated, you know, mm -hmm. if you're working part time, that, that sort of stuff. But they do keep a very careful watch on that. There's a, there's a portal, you, you, you have a you log into your own TQI portal. As soon as you become registered, you have access to the TQI portal, and you've got to keep registered your own so professional learning. Yeah. Every year. yeah. Pro rata, if you're 20 hours. So 20, hours. 20, hours. 20 hours. Sorry, 20 yeah. hours. Yeah. 20 yeah. hours. Sorry. Yeah. And, yeah. and what happens? Yeah. And and sorry, 20 hours. Yeah. And, and no, 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 that's a separate and, issue. And, but but part of your registration is that you actually teach, as well. Now the advice that we have from TQI is. If, for example, you're going to take leave of absence for any reason, mm. um, that's that's not uncommon for people to do that. For example, a lot of people might take parental leave yeah. for a big chunk of time. Um, and so the advice from TQI is come and talk to them and they can stop the clock and they can yeah. make arrangements like that. Yeah. Um, what they don't want is people just to disappear mm. off the system yeah. um, and because you then would have to come back and you know mm. enter into some arrangement for re-registration. I mean, mm. it's important for them that they know that everybody's there mm. and keeping up to date with what's mm. going on in their profession. Re um, but, the, but the employment issue is a hot issue um, and the unions are obviously very interested in this mm. because they don't want someone to lose their registration yeah. through no fault of their own. You know, if, for example, there wasn't a job, could yeah. they lose their could they lose yeah. their registration? So that's yeah. something that, that the union has been mm. talking to TQI about. And they do have yeah. a TQI teacher portal that you can yeah. update your employment information, yeah. personal information, yeah. and things like that. Yeah. They have a lot of yeah. This is one of the really nice things about about TQI because I happen to be on the TQI board, um, is that they're they're very keen to be seen not just as a registration, but they're the teacher quality institute. Mm. So they're really interested in the registration and regulatory aspects, but also the quality, and that's where the professional learning mm, and that sort of stuff yeah. comes in. And, yeah. and they're very keen to talk to teachers and be as flexible as possible, mm. provided that rigorous quality stuff stays yeah. there. That's the sort of language you'll hear all the time. Mm. Um, and the other thing is that they're, they're trying very hard to, to, in a sense, capture everything that there is to do with a teacher's life and work in one place, and that's the mm. portal that you, mm. that you, to which you'll be given access. Um, that's where your professional learning stuff takes place, that's where information will be. So all the professional learning um, opportunities that are available in the ACT, government, non-government, because remember TQI is independent of employing authorities, are all on the TQI website. It's just amazing how much stuff is happening mm. there. Um, so you know, keeping a track of that sort of stuff and keeping mm. on there is really important. Um, and they are. They're very willing to talk to teachers. They run training sessions. So they're physically located just up in, um, uh, what's the road? Uh, Hayden Drive. Hayden Drive. Just across the road here. They yeah. actually lease. Up they near Ginandera Drive, yeah. At least property from us. Uh, so they, they're just Where Headspace is. Um, yeah, Headspace and the Maths Association. Yeah. yeah. So Lots of support keen, services over there for you, actually. Very people, so, um, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Anyway, excellent. Thank you. No, that's great. Um, oh, da yeah, David reminded me of something else, too. Um, a part of your professional life should also be um, a consideration, just looking at, 
uh, the union membership as well. So the education union membership. Now there is one for independent schools and there's one for the Australian education, so the public, gov the government sector one. So they're just another group and for um, a new educator, uh, that's actually really quite important I think, just to, to help with support. They give, both of the organisations give free membership for students, the pre-service teachers, so you can join in now. If you're in CPP4, Chris has probably already flagged that group with you, um, those contacts. Um, they're just another section of the professional community that's there to uh, assist you because they can um, respond for you, with you, um, advocate for you, with you while you're a pre-service teacher as well as while you're a, a new educator or a teacher, you know, for a long time and whatever else. Um, so those sort of advocacy, ag advocacy groups are really um, useful and important to just have a look at. You don't need to align with union movements in general to gain benefit from it, but it's worth having a look at as another support group um, out there. And they're free while you're, I know, while you're a uni student. Um, and, and they do have pro rata rates when you're a casual teacher or part-time and then full-time and stuff like that. So, so there's all those sorts of things. So you know, you're, you're starting to be exposed to and now thinking about hopefully all those other organisations who will benefit from you uh, or you will benefit from um, membership and active um, involvement in their organisations. Lots of things to think about. And I was just going to say, see about free, you see I just noticed now <laughs> that, that it's actually free. Membership, associate membership of the Australian Ooh. College of Education. Let me highlight that bit. Where are you? See the top right box? Oh, that one. Free! And then as a career entrant for the next few years, it's oh. 153. See, I pay, Cheap. About, I pay about $300 Subsidise. He's subsidising you. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, if you want to talk about the college. But, yeah. but this is the sort of no. opportunities. That, and now is an excellent time, as Cathy's to mm. say, you know, running that, that running metaphor, you sort of... You know, Stay in the line. He's probably more However. I use yeah. marathon, they run all over the place. <laughs> I'm a sprinter, stay in the but line. You, sprint start, the end, so sprint start finish. Start to grab in those, yeah. those opportunities as you're coming because yeah. professional associations and union are very keen mm. to get involvement from people just like you. They, they really mm. want, because what they don't want is to become a membership association of people, you know, post 50 who are, you know, looking at retirement. Our age. They're, they're keen to get people who are, mm. you know, entering the career and can really give that invigoration to the profession. So mm. you would be welcomed with open arms in any of those sorts of associations. And it's interesting, yeah. you, it's like a, a taste test. You can taste the free, and then if you don't like it, you don't have to continue. So while things are free, it's kind of useful to join and see what it's like and see if it's something you can contribute to or you can benefit from. Um, so that's quite useful because I know as a beginning teacher, <clears throat> you're on a, I mean, it's a, it's a bit much better, I think, salary than it was when I started 20 odd years, 25 years ago, but um, all things are relative. It doesn't feel like much money when you're in it. Um, and so your money is, you know, you've got to really consider where that, you know, money goes when you're a beginning teacher. So to sort of see when you have to start paying, um, well, you've got a career entrance, 153. When you're working, you get to claim that on tax. But also, you know, if you know that it's a worthy investment, you'll consider that more strongly than if you haven't tested it, road tested it before. So it's worth having a look at it for free now. Um, same with the union membership and same with any other professional association membership, um, generally free for students. So have a go with those things and then, make it, then you can make a more informed decision when you um, are a, a, new, a beginning teacher, um, a paid teacher, mm. of who you'd like to be involved in in their community of practice, professionally, but also who will, um, who's good value for money for you as a new educator. Any other great questions? Mm. Speaking of free, there's more free lunch. <laughs> okay, um, I'll hang around for a little bit if you'd like some course advice, if I can help you with anything. If you wanna ask us individual questions just for a few minutes, that'd be great. Otherwise, mooch around and eat more food. Take soft drink home. <laughs>